So this is the General Counsel Masterclass Series from ContractPod AI. And today we're going to be speaking with Technicolor's Hunter Simon. Uh, Hunter? My name is Hunter Simon. I am the Vice President of Business Affairs and General Counsel for Technicolor's Production Services Group. And by the way, I am uh, Charles Dimov. I'm the Vice President of Marketing with ContractPod AI. Tell us a little bit about uh, Technicolor. Technicolor has over a hundred year legacy. Uh, we started in 1915 uh, and we had the original patent on colorizing films. We have about 18,000 employees worldwide. We are in the Americas, we are in Europe, we're in Asia. We have probably what I would call three major lines of business. We have a connected home business, which is a leader in uh, set-top boxes, in gateways and Wi-Fi's, Android television sets. We have a business that's considered home entertainment services or distribution business, in which we are the leader in Blu-ray and DVD production and distribution. And then we have the production services group for which I'm the general counsel of. And that group is the largest visual effects company in the world. We focus on feature film, episodic visual effects, animation, games, post-production for video and audio, as well as advertising. What was it that spurred you towards saying, I need a contract management system? I think there's you know, a big shift in the in-house legal industry towards legal operations. As we grew in terms of our size, both organically and inorganically at Technicolor, a standard contract storage system was no longer making sense for us, actually. Uh, and uh, in fact, our, our contract management system uh, had gone end of life, and it was time to look for something new. The real question was, do we replace it with just a contract storage system or something that is a bit more intelligent that has a workflow management system associated with it? So we set out looking for uh, a replacement system and ultimately settled on ContractPod AI as the solution for, uh, for Technicolor. Were there anything specific that you guys were looking for that you said, hey, you know what, these are some of the characteristics that are really important to us in terms of contracts, in terms of, uh, you know, having a system that, that, that other GCs around the world are going to be able to use. I think there were a number of characteristics that we focused on in terms of identifying what would be the right solution for, for the Technicolor legal team. The, the first was to make sure that we had a relatively new system, meaning somebody who, or a vendor who developed a system that was based around new code it was based on a workflow management system as opposed to a storage system. Mm -hmm. I think the second characteristic that we were looking at was to try to find a vendor that would really partner with Technicolor. Mm -hmm. I think the third characteristic that we were looking at, a vendor that understood their place in the market as a workflow management solution and didn't attempt to be all things to all people all the time. Uh, and one of the things that I really liked about the ContractPod AI solution and that my colleagues at Technicolor when we made the selection is that it really understood its role in the marketplace mm -hmm. and then through uh, API integration identified with other vendors to be part of an overall ecosystem. Mm -hmm. In terms of the, the graphics, the graphic user interface being pretty important. I've heard that periodically, but like, it, does it really, really matter? I mean, it's a system. Once people kind of learn it, yeah, whatever. One of the things that I really liked about ContractPod AI was the fact that its user interface meant that you knew exactly where you were going when you hit a button. You knew exactly what to expect when you would hit a button. Whether you were somebody who's been practicing law for 30 years, mm -hmm. or you're somebody who's a millennial and who's just out of law school, or a paralegal, or a contracts management administrator, it was all very intuitive and easy to use. And so for me, I think it was really important to make sure that there was a, a crisp, clean user interface. Mm -hmm. And that was um, one of the things that ContractPod, I thought, really did very well as compared to the marketplace. Any feedback so far on, on this whole process, on the, you know, both the adoption side and the CLM thus far? Uh, you know, change management is always challenging. You're going to have some people who are very much in favor of change. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have some people who are very reticent of change, mm -hmm. and you're going to have some people who are simply against change. And it's a tough thing for everybody. Yeah. From my personal experience, uh, launching ContractPod AI at Technicolor, uh, I can tell you that, that there were a lot of people who have come to me since we've launched ContractPod AI saying, right. I was reticent, 
Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. Yeah. It was a lot of work to get there. But most importantly, thank you so much. I can absolutely see the value of what we're doing. Fantastic. This is going to make my job so much easier. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so slick. Yeah. So the answer is, yeah, we've had a lot of really good feedback and positive feedback from the team members who are using it today. You know, implementation is really easy, right? Um, all of that stuff, it's, it's some tough stuff you got to get into. But, but still, how was the flow? How were, how were things with Contract Pot AI? As I said uh, earlier, uh, one of the things that we were looking at in, in selecting a vendor to work with was to find somebody who would really become a partner with us. What I really didn't want to have was a, a partner that felt that we were a small cog in an overall large machine and then didn't really pay any attention to us. Mm -hmm. um, from that perspective, I'd say, you know, Contract Pod AI has been fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, they've assigned a success manager, an implementation manager. We've had regular uh, meetings with Contract Pod for the implementation of Contract Pod. Contract Pod AI, any last thoughts? We're really excited to see the future of Contract Pod AI. Obviously, we, uh, we picked a company that we think we can partner with over the long term. Mm -hmm. And we're looking forward to seeing you know, its developments over the course of the next few years in partnership with Technicolor. All right, exciting times. Yeah. Thank you, Hunter. Thank yes. you very much, Charles.